Oh, hey, millionaires in the making. Welcome back to another episode of This Time Next Year We'll Be Millionaires. I'm Remy Odoyemi, your guide on this roller coaster ride from zero to a million dollars. Today, get ready for some real talk, insights, a dash of inspiration, and of course, the numbers game. Let's dive in. Hey, everyone. Hope you're well. So in this episode, I want to share with you kind of what's going on behind the scenes because I haven't really shared that much documentation of what I'm doing in the last week or so with you all. And honestly, it's because I've had a bit of a crash. Now, we're not talking burnout levels. I've had burnout before and... That was very disabling. And um, this is, this is like a, look, I've had depression before and it feels, it feels like that type of crash of what I'm experiencing, where my energy is low, um, my focus is non-existent and productivity is at an all-time low. <laughs> and I think it's been really, triggered by some you know life events like life gives us twists and turns and ups and downs and there's just been some things that have been happening behind the scenes that I haven't shared with you all and I feel like it's a culmination of all of those things piling up and knocking me off my feet a little bit and I think it's really important that I share with you the highs and the lows of all of this, because we all experience it. And I know a lot of online business owners listening to this will relate to this, where you can go from feeling 10, um, positive, excited about your business. Um, and then something that's out of your control <clears throat> can completely knock the wind out of you and knock you off track. So the first thing I want to say is, I'm not off track with my million dollar year. That is still very much, you know, front of mind, priority, what I'm focusing on. Um, I just, I've just had some things happen. Now, the trigger was last week there's some other stuff that's been going on for a while behind the scenes that's still going on and is probably going to continue going on for another year very much to do with my mum's passing family turmoil family fallout legal cases like a lot of stuff that is just very heavy so heavy in fact that I don't think I've actually stopped to grieve for losing my mum a year ago. I moved something of hers the other day and touching it and picking it up just really, you know, triggered, triggered a lot for me and how much I miss her and the conversations we were having and things we wanted to do. And that really kind of triggered me into a a bit of a slump. And then last week, the thing that really triggered, and again, it's co- it's all compounded, like, because there's all these things going on whilst you're trying to run your business, whilst you're a parent, a lone parent with no support, trying to do all the things, trying to keep your house together. Um, like, it's a lot. And so then last week, there was an incident, it was a whole day, And it happened a couple of times through the day where I was being racially abused and racially bullied by two of my neighbours. And I'll be honest, the first time it happened, I was ready to go out and have some words. Like, I was so angry, peed off, like I was triggered by what I'd heard and there was a lot of lies mixed up in that as well and so I was ready to go out but luckily I have some very good friends who talked to me off the ledge and it's like actually 
I have a lot to lose. They don't actually have anything to lose. They are bottom of the barrel humans with nothing to lose. Like literally nothing to lose. And then in the afternoon, another thing happened with these two people that got to the point where both my daughter was afraid and we both were like, we need to move house. We can't stay here. It was that bad. And I'll be honest with you, as a black woman living in England, I've heard every racist terminology that's out there. I've heard it all, like everything. And what I heard last week was a first for me. It was next level, abusive, vile, disgusting stuff about me. And so, of course, I reported it to the police. But here's what happens is that you go on this roller coaster of emotions, right? The feeling, the anger, the frustration, the unfairness, the unkindness, all completely unnecessary, unneeded. And there are times when you can just rise above and ignore and walk away. And I do that a lot anyway. But when you add in the compound of everything else that's going on in your life, it's very easy to lose your shit. And I had all these emotions and feelings and thoughts in my mind. Like, do I go look for a new house, even though we own this house and they rent? Um, do, do we just go and rent somewhere else? Do we move? And the, the weight of that and con consoling and supporting my daughter who's feeling scared and not safe in her home. And so the only thing I could do was obviously report it to the authorities, which I did. And that's ongoing. And these two people, because everything was recorded, these two people are probably going to get in a lot of trouble. Whether that has repercussions, who knows. But there were certainly a good few nights last week where I didn't sleep because I was worried. I was worried about what they might do. The fact that I'm a single woman. I'm here on my own with my daughter. Um, all of that. So not enough sleep, the worry, the stress, the compound on dealing with police, dealing with solicitors, knowing that within the next 12 months, I'm going to be in court dealing with two separate things and I'm trying to do my million dollar year and I'm still trying to serve my existing customers and clients like it's just been a lot and so I've crashed I've crashed oh and let's add on to that the fact that my gym the place where I've you know tried been trying to build this healthy habit and go every day or at least four or five times a week which has really been helping my mental health, which has really been helping me feel good. Closed on Sunday for four weeks and the nearest gyms are like 20, 25 minutes away. And I can't not stop. I can't not stop. That didn't make sense. I can't stop going to the gym now. Like I'm in flow with that. That's a commitment. I need it for my mental health to keep me motivated energized, productive, drinking water, sleeping well. So it's just been a lot. And this isn't like an episode of like, woe is me, feel sorry for me, send me messages to say, oh, I'm sorry. Like it's not, it's not that. It's just about explaining that not every day is a high day, an energetic day, that sometimes we crash because we're human, because we're, we're dealing with a lot of things. And the mission is still the mission. The journey is still the journey. And by gum, I'm going to be a millionaire by next year. Just you freaking watch me. I will. 
But there are just going to be some days where I can't do anything. I don't have the capacity, the energy, the motivation to do anything because of all the other stuff that there is going on as well. And I wanted to normalise that. I wanted to let you know that this is normal. I'll bounce back. I always do. Um, I feel like a camel, <clears throat> a camel that just carries so much weight on their back, but still keeps going. That's how I feel right now. So I kind of want to apologize and say, like, I'm sorry, I haven't updated more and given you more. But I don't think a sorry is necessary because I think most people are human, compassionate, understanding, kind, and will get what I'm saying. So I've had like three days where I have, I'm going to show you my dog very quickly. Sorry if you're watching this on the podcast, you won't be able to see this. Look at him. Crashed. He's the physical embodiment of how I feel. <laughs> If you're on a podcast, go check it out on YouTube. What are we? 11 minutes in. You can check it out on YouTube. Um, yeah, I I think a lot of you will understand what I'm saying. So we've slowed down on the track. We've slowed down on the track this week. I feel like a little bit, I'm like in zombie state. My mind is in a zombie state. Like I could sit here between nine and three when my daughter's at school. And I couldn't tell you what I've done for six hours. It's that type of state, right? Um, so we slowed down on the track, but we haven't come off the tracks. The track is still there. The path is still there. Still going to be moving forward. Um, but I've slowed down. And I think it's really important that I share this with you all. The highs and the lows. Because they're real. And whatever type of business you're trying to grow, you're going to have some days where it's amazing. You're making money. Your energy's high. Your marketing is good. You know, all of that. And then there's going to be other days where it's flat and it's exhausting and tiring. Um, I think that's normal. I think that's normal when we add in all of the things, the life things that we are all dealing with, right? So, I hope this has helped someone to feel normal if they're in a bit of a slump or a little crash right now. And just know that it does get better. It will get better. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you all. And just thank you for being here and listening in. All right, my darlings. I can't wait to talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, friends. So that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. Um, but just very quickly, if you want to follow this journey in real time and have conversations with me, why don't you come and join the free hub? Go to www.onlinebusinesstemple.com forward slash hub, H-U-B, and we can hang out. we got a little forum in there. You can find all of the podcasts, all of the YouTubes, and I can't wait to see you.